Marv Wilson, will you please join me here at the podium? There are several ways in the academic world to honor a person, but one of the greatest is to present a colleague with a body of work known as a feshrift. A feshrift is a collection of articles written by a wide range of scholars in honor of a colleague. In this case, I am pleased to announce this feshrift entitled Perspectives on Our Father Abraham, Essays in Honor of Marvin R. Wilson on the occasion of his forthcoming 75th birthday. In Fiddler on the Roof, which Marv has seen countless times, <laughs> Tevye sings, If I Were a Rich Man, and then imagines all the things he would be able to do were this dream to come true. He could build a beautiful house and fill it with luxuries and fill his yard with poultry. In fact, the house would be so big that he would build a staircase leading nowhere just for show. His dreams get more serious as the song continues, but the humor of the song remains to the end. However, if Marv Wilson were all of a sudden to become a rich man, and even if he built a home with the kind of staircase that Tevye envisioned, he could not provide any more from those riches than he has already done by simply being Marv Wilson. He could not possibly be more of the kind of husband, father, or grandfather, or friend and neighbor, or teacher and student, or colleague and mentor than he has been throughout these many years. Marv Wilson is already a rich man. This book is a living tribute to such a truth. And so I have been granted the privilege from President Carl Berg who was in support of this project from the very first day we spoke to him about it over three years ago, and the members of my department to say to my friend, Marv Wilson, for your masterful teaching, your internationally recognized scholarship, your contributions to both the Christian community and the Jewish community, your reminder to us all of the Jewish roots of the Christian faith, and your tireless and constant friendship. It is a privilege of a lifetime for me to present you with this festrift. Marv, happy birthday and shalom. Uh, you may be seated. Please bear with us as we recognize some people who made this possible. First, Marv's wife and faithful companion these many years, Polly, I'll ask you please to stand. And will you greet Polly Wilson, please? Second, Professor Steve Hunt, who directed this project from the first day His, his diligence and careful editorial work has guided us for over three years 
in bringing this work into being. And he says it was worth every, uh, every moment of those three years. And it took three years um, to hide this from Marv Wilson, actually. <laughs> so that was a small, easy task. And with over 500 emails and countless letters and phone calls, uh, Steve led us through this task. So Steve, we are grateful to you. Thank you. And third, uh, will you please hold your applause until all the people are mentioned here. I'm going to ask the following to stand and just remain standing. And then after, after I've done that, then we'll just give our applause to all of them. But first of all, to the members of the Biblical Studies and Christian Ministries who supported this project. Professors Marv, Mark Canister, Bob Wittet, Sharon Ketchum, who is on sabbatical, and to the members of the department and others who wrote for this book, Professors Ted Hildebrandt, Dave Mathewson, Elaine Phillips, along with Provost Mark Sargent, and President Judd Carlberg. Let's give them a hand. Now, Professor Steve Hunt will recognize some special guests who are with us. Yeah, before we conclude, I would like uh, to introduce some guests who have uh, come to celebrate with us uh, from near and far, Marv. Uh, these special visitors all contributed chapters to the book as well. Um, William Barkley, a former student of Marv. Uh, Bill went on to become a professor at Gordon and is now the pastor of Sovereign Grace Presbyterian Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Are you here, Bill? Oh, there he is, standing up there. Great. <laughs> Rebecca Gates Brinton, also a former student of Marv. Uh, she served as an adjunct at Gordon from 2004 to 2007. She also homeschooled my children uh, for three years as well. Uh, Rebecca, thank you very much. Roy Champa, I believe I saw you there. Is still, another form, uh, is still another former student of Marv. Roy is currently an associate professor of New Testament at Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary and has come all the way from Hamilton uh, to be with us today. <laughs> Joanne Magnuson. Joanne Magnuson, here she is. Uh, Joanne has come to us uh, from Minnesota today. She is a longtime friend of Marv and is currently the US project coordinator for the Christian Friends of Yad Vashem. Thank you for coming. John Oswalt, there's John. John uh, worked together with Marv back at Barrington College. He is now a research professor of Old Testament at Asbury Theological Seminary in Wilmore, Kentucky. Thank you for coming as well. And finally, um, Edwin Yamauchi. Ed and Marv go way back uh, to their days at Brandeis together. Um, they have remained good friends from that time to the present. Ed is Professor of History Emeritus at Miami University in Ohio. Everyone, uh, and thank you very much for coming, Ed. And I, Marv, I just have to say that everyone who contributed to the book wanted to be here, and even though many of them are not, uh, they all wanted me to, me to pass on their greetings and well wishes, and for me to say happy 75th birthday to you, Marv. And would you join me in singing happy birthday tomorrow. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.